Okay, we can be a little transparent. We weren't wanted at race time. That's true. We, we weren't. We were not. They did not want us out. There. We're the weird guys, um, and we're the slow guys. Welcome to the Farm Truck and Asian YouTube channel. Where it is what it isn't. Those Jeeps are so badass. Hey, easy! Hey! You spit on me. Oh, sorry, you got a little ethanol on you? <laughs> <laughs> this is Jeeper Sleeper. It's a 2008 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8. It has a pro-charged 405 cubic inch small block Hemi built by Modern Muscle Extreme. It has a Suncoast 5-speed in it. Got a Dana 60 rear. The gear is factory because you have to have the gear squared or it binds the it binds the front and rear differential. You can never change a gear in these. There's no one there's no aftermarket for the gear swaps. Oh, really? You, I didn't know that. You can't up them. You can't you can't, there's no one it's really the front. No one makes uh, a gear swap for the front. Okay. Rear all day long, uh, but front there's no gear swap for it. so everyone is stuck with the same gear who drives the WK1 Jeep yeah take a look at it everything inside is pretty much all still factory you see it's still that ding dinger there you go. they're amazing vehicles because they run really good and they work great uh, they transfer weight and hook really good uh, yet man you can drive them coast to coast they're not blistering fast from the factory they just work really well yeah they probably um, went a low 13 from the factory right that's still pretty fast yeah for sure yeah uh, they weigh 5200 pounds with us that's sitting in it so they're they're heavy relative to um, other vehicles on the road um, but they just work really good and i don't i don't know why they do they got a four link suspension from a uh, triangulated four link from the factory that might be something but heated front and rear seats AC still works. Let's, uh, oh, what is this, a magic trick? Ooh. Still has remote start. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Yep. Damn. Well, that is a magic trick. <laughs> well, it is. Yeah. Let's pop the hood and see the real magic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, 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 <laughs> We're still on this one, too. <laughs> Sorry. What's up with us and alarms? Everything still works. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Honestly, everything still works. <laughs> All right. Here's the here's the David Copperfield hiding under here. Pro charge, 405 cubic inch small block Hemi built by Modern Muscle Extreme. Still a factory intake. They have found that the aftermarket intakes just don't seem to match the efficiency that these do once ported, matched, and polished. Got a Hellcat throttle body on it. Uh, it's essentially it's still a factory block. Uh, the short block's obviously been replaced with Molnar and Mall pistons and crank rods. Um, so that's all been upgraded. Pretty much factory water pump, pulleys, uh, headers are stainless works from, from tip to tail. Yeah, man, we've upgraded the, the Pro Charger since the very beginning of it. Uh, it started with a, with a D1X. Uh, now it's an F1A-94, I think. Makes over 900 horsepower. Um, we stopped counting after that. Still got a factory radiator. It's got an aftermarket intercooler from Pro Charger. It has a, a stage six uh, two-step on it with a trans brake. So I can sit there on the button. I can leave off the line, uh, full throttle, let off the button, and uh, she rips. Started out with uh, with factory wheels, but we thought we needed a little bit more sidewall. They, they came with factory 20s. The four wheel bead locks are just kind of for looks. It really only needs rear bead locks, but hey, it's all wheel drive. Looks cool with, uh, with bead locks. Still has the factory Brembo's on there. It's got a aftermarket rotors at this point, um, aftermarket hawk pads, but the Brembo calipers are still uh, still in place. Um, so yeah, this is this is kind of how she sits. She's even she's got some QA ones in the back. She builds any shocks in the front or struts in the front. Side of that man uh, in the back. This is all still 
factory. Uh, a little bit of... Oh, you carry your luggage little, with you. A little nitrous espresso yeah. shot right there. <laughs> um, just enough to kind of get her out of the hole. That's about all she'll take right there. It's not a, it's not built for nitrous. How big of a shot is that? Do we give all of our secrets away? No, we don't. Okay. We don't. Yeah. Okay. We Rhymes don't. with 100 shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. And that's about it. You want to pull that together? But, but we'll say that all day long and no one will believe us because that's, that's, right. that's the go-to. That's true. Uh, that's true. But it is 100 shot. Oh, people shot. are just like, oh, 100 shot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But that truly is all it is. <laughs> that's right. So now to like go back a little bit in the, when you first got this thing, you didn't really plan on racing it okay so right? Yeah, that's right like i remember you picking me up and going for a drive and you just bought an suv that was fast that you really liked uh, i bought it she's got a daily driver we had we'd done the show i thought I, I rewarded myself with a newer vehicle drove around for a while really loved this thing dropped by the the modern muscle booth at, at pri i believe i walked by complimented them thought it was cool that they had fast jeeps they chased me down with the business card and said call us we could do stuff to your jeep didn't think anything of it we called them they jumped on board and said, we will pick the Jeep up next day. And we were like, whatever, another one of these guys. Sure enough, they showed up with the trailer next day and I lost my daily driver. That's right. <laughs> so, um, and then they came back, they, they, they polished uh, what was already a, a finished vehicle in my mind. We, we, we debuted it on the daily driver show, the first one we did. That's right. Um, ended up beating some of the top fivers um, in their daily drivers. Heck, it, it put away Chief, it put away Dave, uh, Kamikaze, it did its job. That's um, right. And then it's been a work of progress from there. You heard a lot of feelings that night. That was a good night. Because I think that you beat three street outlaws that held the number one spot at one time. Okay, all right. In their daily driver. Gotcha, right? gotcha, yeah. Which is impressive, you know? It was uh, out, of the, out of the box for its debut, its shakedown run. It did very well. We just finished up the, the small tire show with this vehicle. Just couldn't get the other vehicles done in time with the schedule. They had us racing every other night. There was no other time. Thank goodness these things held together or we would have had problems. Uh, but you had to switch gears. That's right. For this show. That's right. Uh, initially, we thought it'd be pretty cool to at least try to get small tires on the farm truck. Uh, we knew that it probably wasn't going to work. Uh, we didn't have time to get it to work for one. Uh, and then we realized that we had bearing issues and we got the engine out of the farm truck, got it up to Mark. He said we rattled the crank bearings out of it. So the crank's off for repair uh, and we had to come up with something quick for me to drive, uh, which I'll go get it. <laughs> yeah, the turner on that was kind of crazy, right? Like we got done with the last NPK and then it's like, oh, we're doing... Uh, OG show on small tires and then it was like a big scramble. Yeah, I had to drive to Virginia to pick this thing up and then what farm truck's gonna show you here in a little bit. Um, just to get it done, it just couldn't, we just couldn't get the farm and dung ready in time. At the end of the day, the, these got the job done um, and uh, they did very well. Uh, we won't we won't show you the the results because hey that's 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 content that doesn't belong to us it belongs to discovery channel we'll we'll let them show you the results of everything but it was a it was an awesome season we hope that they pick the show up again we hope that it shows well to y'all and it's well received because uh, we sure had a, a good time doing it probably the best time in the past 10 years that i've ever had filming with discovery um and the rest of the guys in the 405 it really felt like we we went backwards in time and did what we always knew to do. Oh. A little deja vu. <laughs> it looks the same, but different. Oh, okay. We call this penny. Obviously, there's differences. There's gonna be some differences. They're the same year Jeep. I've asked Modern Muscle about this as much as possible. Um, there's a lot that we don't know, but there's a lot of similarities. Um, both are built very well. Uh, carbon fiber hood, obviously a difference. Oh, you uh, ain't got that. Oh, I don't. Oh, no. I know, but I'm, you leave early tonight, I'm gonna have that. <laughs> uh, this one has a twin screw style blower, um, as opposed to the Pro Charge Centrifugal. Pretty um, much the same 
I think it, same size engine. I think so. Pretty much. I think the engine is almost identical. The cubic inch could be uh, different. You know, sure. We're not sure what it is. Same guts, Molinar, Molly, uh, comp cams, a valve train, uh, HP tuners, factory ECM, a little bit of nitrous express. I think it just makes power in a different range. I don't know if it makes any less or any more. Um, uh, probably a lot more. Probably a lot less. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's more done um, to Jeep or Sleeper than there is to, to Penny. Maybe. Maybe. But uh, like Asian was saying, this makes power in a different range. It does. Uh, than that. Uh, yeah. That's going to make a little bit more power on the big end. Sure. And this is going to get out of the hole uh, and make its power there. There are unknowns about that Jeep and this Jeep. Sure. And which one would actually outrun you know, it, it, if we did race, uh -huh. right? Which it might happen. It would have to be a two out of three race. Oh yeah. You know, I think it'd be that close. It would be. Yeah. And we, we would have to know in a two out of three. Which the cool thing about these is we could hot lap. Right. We could probably make ten passes in a row. Yeah, that's right. With we could. these. With these. Just hot lap round yep. and round and around. Yeah. They're they are true. Uh, street cars yeah so this is same same transmission same you know all-wheel no, drive uh, same year not it's a different transmission different transmission on this one okay. uh it's it's the same okay so same factory case this one this transmission is built by modern muscle uh this transmission is built by suncoast gotcha um so di different transmissions both have drive shaft shop axles which are aftermarket both have carbon fiber drive shaft uh, when it comes when it comes to it the drive yeah. shaft shop makes the best stuff for these jeeps never so, broken a single thing I mean, that thing's on everything isn't it uh, we have the drive shaft shop axles on the gonorail that's right yeah um, we've have them, we have them on our dodge neon yeah uh, we have them on everything so never broken a single one ever both have dana 60s in them i, I don't know what dave is a mopar guy yeah he put dana 60s in. i don't think we have a dana 60 in anything else dave <laughs> is also a purist he is you know he's yeah. he's mopar all the way you can't talk him out of it right uh, so they're they're strong they're built um not broken a single i've never broken a single thing i've had some issues with uh uh, certain, I think maybe dropped a fuel injector once, clogged it, probably my fault. E85 is it? They're both run on E85. Yeah. Pump, we literally go to the pump. That's right. Uh, and we mix a little VP X98 uh, just to keep clean it up. It's a, it's a cleaner fuel. So w when we got this, we were told that there's 16,000 miles on yeah. this motor. Uh, when it was built. Yeah, that's right. So it, it's a true daily driver and you can check out the interior. There you go. Pretty much the same as Asians. You've got heated front and rear seats. I got three gauges. You ain't got that. I got the same amount of gauges. Yeah, but I got, <laughs> I got carbon fiber right here. That's okay. that's vinyl. This is, that's a, this sticker. is a real carbon oh. fiber okay. sticker. Okay. Okay. There you go. It is. No, wait, it's I can't, real. I can't, I can't argue with you. Right? <laughs> also, it's not an NFT. To match. <laughs> I have a real oh, you doubled. carbon fire I doubled up. Well, can you tell me about this then? Oh, mm. this? No, this, yeah. Can you tell this me about This is a it? real carbon fiber okay. mirror okay. Mm. How about sticker. This? Is mm. it the same? No, well, this is actually real. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, we could go camping. No, you're right. We did, Put kind of. Put the seat down. We did know, go camping. Carry all the stuff right in it. It's handy. Carry uh, an extra belt just in case you make too much power and you snap one. Oh, is that what happens? Uh, that's oh. We don't know yet. Oh, is that we what happens? We don't know yet. That's why you have an extra we belt? Know, we, we don't know can't tell Man, everybody. I wonder. Mine doesn't need that. Huh. can't tell everybody what happens. Mine doesn't, Mine doesn't need, need that. <laughs> Pro Charger never snaps a belt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh wait carry, a second. Yeah, sure. Wait, See, wait no, you got no two? sure. Just in case. No sure. You know. How big of a shot is that? 100 shot? <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> is it less? <laughs> Could be more. <laughs> Why would it ever be less? <laughs> Dude, put the seats down, go to the drive in movie. Um, I love these. I'm things, not done dude. back here. Oh, you're not? No. <laughs> Why do you need two for a 100 shot? No, I do. <laughs> I do. No, I'm not saying. <laughs> okay. Because this here is. This is the way to go right here. <laughs> Two bottles because, for a, okay. 50 shot each. What if, what if, if you needed, I don't know. You called an X for mine and you called an X for yours. Yeah. And why did you order two for yours? Well, because they know that I like 215s. I might like 215s. <laughs> they might need to know I like 215s. That, well. <laughs> You do have a 15. Okay. Right? Okay. A 15. Typically, when you say I got two 15s in the back, you're talking about a stereo. That's right. <laughs> you know. All right. Say that you had the hot lap. Okay. Right? You'd be better off having 
two bottles. Okay. Right? Now you are sacrificing a little bit of weight because a 15 pound bottle weighs about 35 pounds. Okay. Right? Okay. Uh, you don't have to run that, but I would rather because if you if you had to hot lap it, okay. all you'd have to do is turn the other bottle on. And it and it adds to the other bottle? Sure. Okay. You, you could turn one off. Okay. And turn the other one on. Yeah. And you would have a fresh bottle ready to go. Okay. If you were to hot lap. Gotcha. Right? Okay. Yeah. Or you could just turn the other one on. Both. And sure, you could have both of them on. <laughs> Two hundred shot. I need to talk to Annex about this. No. <laughs> so coming around over here, uh, different rims but same tire, right? Same Mickey's, the race star and a weld. I think typically on the on Jeeper, it was on a bit of a bigger tire. They were three oh fives. Uh, but because of the show rule, small tire rule is a 275, 40, or whatever. It's also a, a 28, 10, 5 rule. Well, these are pretty, these are smaller than a 20. They're like 26s. Yeah, 26s by 10s. Um, but that was the handicap for all wheel drive. That's right. That's right. So. In which Murder Nova is saying all the time, we have to abide by the rules where other people do not. Yeah, we kind of let them slide. Um, you know, because these guys, um, I don't know if the rules are written somewhere, if they even know them. Nah, probably not. But yeah. say that they didn't see the rules and they show up, uh -huh. uh, we have a TV show to make. We do. We invited these people. Yeah. What are we going to do? Send them all home because they don't make the rules? No. We race them anyway. Yeah. Which means we have to abide by the rules yep. and other people don't. We might stick one of our faster guys on them and we may ask for some handicaps like right. the head or the front tire Major, or something yeah. uh or we just have to make them race our fastest guy right off the trailer um we're gonna ask for something but we're gonna race them and so there's been a lot of that over the past 10 years that's happened and you guys just don't know that it happened that's how pro mods wound up on the ship it is how pro we mods. ran out of people to race yep you know production got involved yep. and found us people to race yep and much to our surprise there were pro mods what are we gonna do go home and not race no we're gonna make an episode we're yeah. gonna do our job right. these are the vehicles that you will be seeing on the small tire show that farm truck and i will be driving they they did very well we won't tell you uh our rankings we didn't win them all um but we did very well um the jeeps did very well by the way we were the only ones that showed up with all-wheel drive on that size that's tire. right we were the only one <laughs> that showed up on this tire that's right everyone showed up with a 305 or a 315 or a giant hoosier which is pretty much a w that's um, right we raced every now everyone will say oh well we'll drive as an advantage there are way more disadvantages with these than that's the right. single advantage that you can claim we're on the small tire we have to run radial that's one of the rules we weigh 5200 pounds each we'd have to make not double the horsepower but a lot more horsepower to keep up with a 69 camaro and sure we can put the power down to the ground more consistently but there's less power to the ground because we got to turn four tires as opposed to two that's a 25 to 27 percent power loss in, not including the 5,200 pounds that we have to move forward. Yeah. Look, we have to be dead on the light. We, ha we have to make sure these things are consistent. We have to make sure they don't spin at all or our advantage goes out the window. So if you can get a two-wheel drive to line up against this and hook just as good, I'm, I'm going to pay you. But look at all this carbon fiber down here on mine. That is it's not, not the it's whole a sticker. Thing, That's dude. the same it's a coming all the way <laughs> across the thing. with the real carbon <laughs> fiber <laughs> coming through. That is not coming. It's amazing. Dude. You <laughs> see how it all it's all one piece. Not amazing if you know how it's huh? <laughs> Wait a second. It actually is very good. This actually is a very good wrap job. Oh, they did. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, it is a good wrap job. You ain't got this. No, I don't. Yeah. Because I don't. Yeah. Let me let me explain it, right? This is real carbon fiber tailpiece going around here. That's good. That all is the way good. around. Why is it so dirty? Oh, what's it say there? What does it say Oh, that says... No, 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 no. It says Jeep? But what does it say? Oh, wait. What's it say on the other side? What's that say down there? One fast Jeep? Is that what you're going to make your license uh, plate no, say? I One fast I Jeep? I would not... Is that get, what you, hey, I'm all about a sleeper, <laughs> and I would never have that on. Right? But it's on there. But it's on, but I didn't put it there. I didn't have... I had Lou change it. Okay. And they're teasing me right now. <laughs> right? Uh, because I did not want okay. that. So thanks for pointing that out. Yeah. Oh, what is this? One thing? fast Jeep, huh? Yeah. Is no. it? Is it? You want to go find out? I do. Yeah. <laughs> so this is custom. That exhaust? Yeah. Looks like a giant USB port. It does. You know, like a mic. That's funny. Oh, they're, they're cool. Oh, race stars? The race stars were the addition. These race stars are much better than uh, bead box. <laughs> but if you notice, right, we do need bead locks because we marked these 
in line with the valve stem just to see if they were spinning on the rim and sure they definitely enough. are that, and move now, it if you look in the back you'll really see wow oh wow from here to here right that's that's what bead locks are for it locks that tire look so if you're that, spinning dude. on the tire oh even a little bit wow. it right. doesn't help we you. could actually i'm jealous of the bead locks right? they look good uh, uh, no but these look are, way better but they those look good too yeah <laughs> but, but dude, those are hard to clean let me tell you. Oh, oh. Is that why they're not? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. All right. I get it. Yeah, I was noticing that. Now, uh, one thing, I don't know if you guys want to talk about it a little bit, but you want to talk about how it all came about? Uh, you guys getting back on at all? Uh, you know, I mean, so the small tire show was developing. We had heard some things, um, but it was pretty much just murder and Ryan invited us. Yeah, there, there was a lot of politics going on, and uh, we knew that we weren't uh, wanted out race night um oh okay we can delve into that a little yeah that's kind of what i'm asking okay. right like okay, we can be a little transparent we weren't wanted at race night that's true we, we weren't we were not they did not want us out there. we're the weird guys um and we're the slow guys that's right um and yeah to be honest we couldn't compete with that list um but it came down to even when we didn't bring our cars we weren't wanted well it, it came down uh to winning for the 405 and some people thought that we were an automatic loss. Yeah. Um, which, you know, there were times that we got in there and we picked on some small tire guys uh, that there would be no way that we would outrun with the farm truck or dung beetle uh, at the track. But on the street, we did pretty damn good and we were proud of that. Yeah, we, we kind of became the, 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 whipping, the whipping crew for that. That's but, right. And we understood, but th it became more than that at some point. And right. it became almost... Uh, I don't know what it was. It, it's just a. Uh, it just started feeling dark, right. and uh, we we eventually got pushed out. And with with the list racing the way it was, and the way it was uh, began to get formed, uh, it was tough for us to even carve a spot into that. Uh, we weren't gonna. Everyone's like, "Oh, make the truck faster, uh, make it way less, take right. part." We're not gonna do that. We're we're not gonna we're not gonna take much out of these. Well, here's the deal. Most of these guys that we go up against, they have a plan when they build their car and they're gonna build a light race car to win, right? Uh, when we built the Dung Beetle and the farm truck, we had a plan to go up against supercars and win. Uh, we wanted them to look very unassuming. We never wanted to take weight off and carbon fiber and fiberglass and all the race car stuff. Uh, we wanted them to be streetable and they are. They were built to outrun supercars, not compete against lightweight Mustangs and Camaros. That's right. So the show essentially outgrew us in a, in a way. And then MPK, and then whatever else exists out there, the show's giant now. Um, and we just couldn't find where we belonged. Um, we did our own show, that was cool. Built some amazing stuff, made a little bit of history there. But at the end of the day, man, we, we are competitive. Uh, we don't want to lose that side of us. And when this, We are racers. We are. Um, and we, we, for a little bit, we kind of tried to bury that a little bit and kind of be like, oh, we're not, we're not that. Right. But we are, we just had to find our lane and the show had to go backwards a little bit to find that for us. And um, we're grateful that, it's, that it has. Um, but Murder and Ryan, they're, they're leading up this small tire gig and this show and they, they came about and said, hey, this might be a good fit for y'all. Um, do you have anything? And we, we said, we won't let you down. We'll put something together. Uh, we'll show up and we'll show out. And, and we did. And it was awesome that we were invited back to the 405 to race again. Ryan and Murder Nova, they didn't care, <clears throat> they didn't care if we lost. Uh, it didn't. They wanted us to just be a part of it. And it was like being invited back to the family reunion. That's what it felt uh, like. It was a great moment for us Yeah. Uh, to get invited back. And uh, we gave it everything we could uh, to represent That's the right. 405. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We wanted to make them proud, straight up. We wanted to make them proud. We've always wanted to make them proud. Yeah. We wanted them to be proud of us. Haven't been really given that stage, but man, this small tire show was the most fun. And I, I genuinely hope it does come back. This format is awesome. Um, we enjoyed racing with them. And uh, hey, if there's a space for us, we're gonna show up every single night that they're going down that road. So yeah, yeah. but these are the Jeeps. Yeah, uh, you're gonna awesome. You're gonna see them do their thing. Uh, their hair scrambles on uh, Street Outlaws on the new OG oh. small tire show. No, it's close. No way. It's close. Second. I tried something. You just got black <laughs> stickers. No, that's on, what, well, that's, were that's they out a, of carbon fiber? It's they, a nano huh? carbon fiber. It's expensive. No. That carbon fiber. I don't have sticker. that. 
Well, it's smoother. I yeah, I don't. That's have that it. ceramic coating. You yeah, know? but a it's golf a G ball technique. is yeah. going to go faster and further. Okay. With the pebbly. Okay. See, look, look at my carbon fiber. No, I did look at it. You look made it. me look at see? it. No, I see it. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna. I see. No. I think. All right. You know what? I'm going inside. I think they need. Oh. They need a. They need to keep running that carbon fiber uh, machine. Uh, to get me. Hey, Farm Token Asian here. Thank you for sticking around and watching our YouTube videos. Since you're a viewer and hopefully a subscriber, drop by our website, okcfarmtruck.com, and use discount code FNAYouTube to get 10% off your next order. It's our way of saying thank you.